guys, what's up? It is the Chinchilla Notebook here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you guys can tell, the cage is really dirty right now and that is for a purpose. Basically today I'm going to be showing you my daily Chinchilla routine with Merlin and it's going to kind of be in the chin vlog type of style i don't really know it's morning right now all right guys so usually around like the time that I, around when i wake up i will go into merlin's cage to clean everything up now usually it's not this dirty but i did not get time last night to clean anything so i'm first just going to vacuum everything up before i refill any of his food supplies and i actually like to use this little shot back thingy i think that's what it's called it's just basically a craftsman little 2.5 gallon vacuum thing and this one does get clogged very easily by hay so I typically only like vacuum up the poop but not the hay I'll go in with like my sleeper with the hay guys so actually I've decided to clean the fleece and I just I'm just gonna change it out really quick because I did clean it like five days ago but it does smell a little bit not so clean so I'm going to change it and of course I don't do this every single day but honestly whenever I don't like keep it as a perfect routine like every Friday I change it it's honestly whenever I notice it needs changing because sometimes Merlin pees up here more So now I'm just going to refill the hay. I just dumped out the old hay to get new fresh, like a fresh supply in. So basically, I'm just going to fill it up. So now I'm going to fill up his food bowl and I just keep his food in here. So usually I just give him an unlimited supply. Um, but, you know, on certain days, I'll just give him a scoop in the morning and then one in the evening, which is what I'll do today. So the type of food I feed Merlin is just the Oxbow pellets. They're very high quality chinchilla pellets, and I really recommend them. They have a lot of good nutrients in them. I think I ordered a 20 pound bag, and you guys, look how big that is. It's like a cat. It's like a whole bunch of cat food. That's how much there is in there. So yeah, I got that off of Amazon. So I will be linking this off in the description box if you want to buy some off Amazon. And then I also, the hay is also the same brand. It's Oxbow and it comes in this big bag that I will also be linking. So if you guys want to buy your chinchilla some hay or pellets, just use those links. And now I'm just going to sweep or vacuum, I guess, the bottom. So what I'm gonna think I'm gonna do today is go and buy Merlin some more toys and the quickest place is going to probably be PetSmart. But yeah, I just really need to buy him more toys. Like his cage is seriously so empty and like, yeah, there's toys here, but he's already chewed them and they're old and they're just like, yeah, he just needs a ton of toys. So I'm gonna go buy him some and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. 
but just to let you know, I'm probably going to have to film with my iPhone, which is an iPhone 7 Plus, so it's really not that great. I should probably put him in his dust bath because he hasn't had it for a while, so... Yes, and there is some poop from there. I really should clean it every single time, but come on, Merlin, jump in. Oh my goodness, he's too scared too. Come on, get in. Get in, buddy. And then I move him, since I really just cleaned his cage, I move him here into the sink. So he can, like, roll around and the dust doesn't get absolutely everywhere in his cage. But yeah, so it's nice and clean. I vacuumed everything, changed the garbage. I really feel put together now, so. <laughs> so cute. All right, guys, so we are currently at PetSmart right now. We're at PetSmart, and this is actually not even in the town that I live. This is in the town over, so I'm not really familiar, but we're just going to look at the little pet stuff, the small pet stuff here, and some of their toys. So these are, like, the treats right here. And looking at all of these, like, these are labeled chinchillas, but they're not good for chinchillas, as most of you probably know. Same with these, those are not okay. Katie, like these ones, it's just Katie's a really low quality brand, so I wouldn't recommend those. But the only ones I would actually recommend is anything Oxbow. Oxbow, I know for sure, it's like whole ingredients. They're really good for chinchillas and everything, so definitely these ones. Um, they are a little more spendy, like for example, this is 0.5 ounces, so half an ounce for 870, but honestly, there's probably a lot in there. Here are all like the chinchilla food, hay stuff. So of course, as you guys know, I love Oxo. Like seriously, they're my favorite brand. Yeah. Oh, and here are the toys. I seriously love the toy section. So there's like not that big of a selection. So I want to travel with your pets. <laughs> these ones. I don't know, these are not for chinchillas because they can like chew through the mesh and stuff, but yeah. So here, the, probably the best deal would be these sticks. And, like, you know, just random stuff. The exact hut that I have for Merlin, and it is $23 right there. I remember I spent $23 on it. These are cool. I would definitely try one of these if they didn't have this like sisal in there. This blue stuff and green that's like sisal, it's bad for them. The small pet section of like toys is honestly not that much. Like just look at the options here. So I actually like to shop in the bird section. So let me just show you what that looks like. So yeah, something like this would definitely be good for chinchillas because it's super big and like they're probably really interested. Same with this one. Yeah, these are the bird toys. And the thing about bird toys is most of them are okay, but there's some things that you should avoid. For example, if they have sisal, that's not good for chinchillas. If it has like rope on it, also not good for chinchillas because they chew literally everything, so. And then of course, if they have like plastic beads like that. Oh, and these ladders, these ones are actually really good. I've had these for my chinchillas before. Merlin loves them. He like literally chews the whole thing up. Dude, it's actually super cute. It's like small. You can handle it carefully. And look how long they live for. It's a long time. And it's super easy. You don't, even have, you don't have to play with them, I don't think. This one's cute too. You should get that one. That one's big, man. Oh, there's two. Actually, it doesn't grow that big, but this one's mean. Like, he was biting me. <laughs> you actually, these are their water bottle selections, in case guys were curious. But um, this is the one I actually have, and it works pretty well, and it's really big, so it holds a lot of water. I actually also had this one before, and it was a really good water bottle until I dropped it and it cracked because it's glass. But yeah, All Living Things makes really good water bottles. We have one chinchilla in here. This is actually where I got Merlin, by the way. Their habitat was like up here, and this is where I bought Merlin. So it was at this exact pet spot. Oh, and there's another chinchilla. That's so cute. Look at how they're living now. I wish that they actually like took the plastic out and put ledges and like wooden toys and stuff. This is not exactly good, but yeah. They're 150. I think Merlin actually cost 160 with tax and everything, but yeah.